today we're reading this book. It's called The Ox Cart Man, and it is by Donald Hall, pictures uh, by Barbara Cooney. Uh, so is it one of the ones from Un Uncle Big that does, that does make sense and does it? <laughs> yes, it's one of Uncle Bank's books that make sense. And not. They do make sense. They Come don't, on. and they do. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like they have like a little picture book where you can put your pictures. But, but. The Ox and the Cow. Ox Cart Man by Donald Hall. Pictures by Barbara Cooney. Am I skipping a page? Hey, this is just facts. Okay. Facts about what? I don't know. We don't have to read that. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can't get comfortable. In October. October? That runs of. That, that has. Oh, oh, oh. The start of. Oh, oh, ox. Yes. Oh, oh, October. You're right. So in October, he backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. Comfortable. Oh, Be careful with the book. Pardon. I can't get comfortable. And on the and next October, they said that the ox. He packed a bag of wool. He sheared from the sheep in April. He a a April a. That doesn't even rhyme with <laughs> All right. He packed a bag of wool. He sheared from the sheep in April. April. Eh, eh. And what, what are they shaving? A bag of wool that he sheared from sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed, April. he packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. So now what? Let's turn the page. He packed... Let's see the picture. Those are really pretty pictures. Let's see what he packed. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. A borrowed kitchen knife? Huh? Oh, this is not pretty. This one's not even a little pretty. Okay, mommy. Got it. Pretty. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel oh, he packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. Oops. Wait, that's page. Oh, no, this one is really, really, really not pretty. Well, we shouldn't say that. These are beautiful pictures. Well, this one isn't. It's yucky. No, it's not. How do you know? Because I've already read this book and I've seen all the pictures and the pictures are beautiful. Ah, I didn't know you read it before. <laughs> when his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son. And he walked at his ox's head ten days. Over hills, through valleys, by streams, uh, past what, farms what and villages. What happened to that, to that person? He's leaving his house. He's going somewhere. Let's see where he's going. Well, why is he leaving? We're going to find out. 
I hope he's not moving away from his, from maybe his parents' house. That'd be sad, right? Mm-hmm. He's moving to a new city, I think. Until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. Okay. That just it says Portsmouth City. It says City. <laughs> mommy loads, mommy. Oh, we're almost. Oh, never mind. Can you move? The, there you go. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. Do you want to show? Make sure that you're showing the pictures. Uh, I just thought that makes it really slippery. Just like that. Hold it like that. Well, hard. (laughs) Sorry, guys. It's hard to hold. Let's hold it up. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. His ox cart? Why would he he sell his ox cart? I don't know. He needs it. Did he sell his ox? I don't know. That's a good question. Because he wouldn't need it if, if he didn't have an ox. Well, he still has an ox, I think. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on the nose. Did he sell it? Yep, it looks like he did. He what? He sold the ox. Uh, what What did the page say again? Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on his nose. Oh, that's sad. It is sad. Who would want to leave their kitty ways? <gasps> then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle <coughs> that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. Can't find something that I like, guys. And for his son, he bought a Barlow knife. For carving birch brooms with, and for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Uh, Can you got... guys see the picture and see what Mila is talking about? Yep. Uh, tell us in the comments. But but if you guess a kitty, then you're all right. We want a kitty. I'm a kitty. Then he walked home with the needle and knife and the winter green peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. Where is he going? He's going back home. Without his ox? Mm-hmm. Aww. It got dark. It got scary. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys by streams, until he came to his farm with his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. Wait. What? Hmm. Wrong page? Mm Mm-hmm. What happened? Did he got burned by fire? And his daughter took her needle and began stitching, and his son took his barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in the new kettle, and afterward, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint <laughs> candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harness for the young ox in the barn.
the young more ox. So that's why he was giving away his old ox. Well, he didn't give them away. He sold them. Oh, that's sad. The ox must have missed him. I was slipping. Let me shake. Ah, hey! All right, I'll turn the page. Okay. Was it the wrong way? Yes. Oh, I like being back there. It makes me, I mean, without, without the pillow, it makes me slip. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split shingles all winter. Mommy, please. How many pages do you have? We have 25, 30, 40. We had not 5,000 pages left. While his wife made flax into linen all winter, and his daughter embroidered linen all winter, and his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter, and everybody made candles. Oh no! Oh no!